to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. We are under the shadow of your your influence is all over us. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are all the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over us yeah. I, 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 I am victorious I have Overcome, I am victorious. I have overcome, I am victorious. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight Graces are falling here tonight For the kings to arise For revival to return For the kings to be born For revival to return yeah. Ali, Ali, oh Ali, oh Ali, Ali, oh Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, oh, oh. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Are there men of prayer in an ambrastic? Pray. Let your spirit be open. Are you praying? She prende kaparaka tosh koto prende gete balatos. Shagre de bede gete balada barantas kadi balisa priya haskada. Embre gete paka pras kadi la kapras kuzede gete bele katosia. Shende prende gete bele katosh koto prende gete bele katapra haskada balada bos. Shabres katish 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 katish. Imbra kata parato koto prende kete bele kete prando skoto balatos. Se prende kete bele kete skate prando kata pras kete bata. Imbra kata paroto skoto prende kete pareto skoto prende kete. Imbra kata pras kete bele kete prando kata pros skoto balakata. Se prende kata parata kata prende kete bele kete prando kotos. 
Don't be distracted, don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Your life will never be the same. I assure you, your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Sagate bereketos katila baranta kaprende gete balatosia. Sagrete ke parato katusa prende gete. Five more minutes. Don't be distracted. Imbrakete parato skoto brando koto prende gete beleketa. Sabrakata baranta kaskata prende gete baratos. Imbrakata prende gete berente keskoto protosha. Imbrete lekete brosa sikete beleketa. Sabrakata parandos koto balakatos kia daba. Sabrakete berekete kete berekete parandos koto balakatos. Sabrakata parikete berekete berekete koto prada. Ebrakata kata prada kata prada kete balakatos kete. Sakrite kas koto bande bras kami prada kata balados. Sabrende gete bele gete prosko to barata balaka to brande gete bele gete Sakrete gete brande gete bele gete prosko to balatos Manda braka ta paraka tosko to brande gete bele gete tosko diata This is part of the meeting Sate brande skate bele gete braka tosko to brande gete Awake thou that sleepest Manda brande gete paraka tosko to brande gete balata Embrakata branda gatos, awake thou that sleepest. Manta brakata bakata brakata bakate. Sabrakata branda kete bereke tos koto branda kete. Sabrake te bereke te branda kete bala tosia. Sabrake te bereke te bara tos kati branda kete bala. Hallelujah! Eh. Hallelujah! Eh. Hallelujah! Eh. Hallelujah! Eh. Now on to the Lamb upon. Hallelujah! Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. There are people who will start running by the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I want to release a grace for speed, like physically delay, help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hand. By the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic everyone here hold them ushers please be sensitive in the name of jesus whether you are an usher or not by the power that raised christ from the dead every yoke of delay bring them out i decree and declare let the grace for speed and ambra state i stand by this apostolic anointing may that grace rest upon you now take that grace now Take that grace now. Life to your years. Please don't come out at random. It's the Spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the Spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Sakra takata pakata. Grapentas katalakataba. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here. Every altar of delay that has tied down any individual. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the ushers. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command a release. I prophesy a release by the Spirit of grace. An Ambra said something is happening to your soil. Brandeke parakatos kadiapa. Embreke te katus kote brandegete. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen everything that was lost and everything that was stolen now hear me please listen carefully don't be distracted as i walked into this place I was hearing the sounds of chains that was what i was hearing chains that have held families down chains that have held many for many generations i'm about to release you by the spirit now hear me at the count of three if god be god as you shout jesus every altar over an umbra, i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft for the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And it says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you ready to shout? At the count of three, bring them out. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those altars, release them now. Release their destinies now. Gates be broken, bars of iron. Be broken, gates be broken, bars of iron be broken. Gates be broken, bars of iron be broken, patterns of darkness be broken. 
cœur. Lord, you took my shame away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything You know it now Oh man, my Se brande che va la catosca di barazia. Alleluia. Who is Chidozie? I'm hearing a name Chidozie. There's someone with that name. We have to hurry up tonight. Who is Chidozie? I'm hearing. I presume there might be many people. You are wearing a yellow like a t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Like a yellow, is it a t-shirt or something of that sort? Chidoze, is there someone like that? Don't worry, allow the Chidoze to come. But there is a particular one I'm seeing. You are wearing like a yellow t-shirt. God wants to turn your life around. What do you do, my friend? Do we have another mic? Please help us. Let's make it ready. Onyeka, whose name is Onyeka? I'm hearing the name Onyeka. The season is about to open to you. Onyeka. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm seeing a male in my vision. Please make sure you don't just come out at random. What do you do, my friend? Huh? She does it on your deca. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere, but my friend, there is a name that is above every other name, and God wants to bring visitation for you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There is a lady who will shout loud in the congregation to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that lady here now, right now, as I'm speaking. A loud shout. father i pray for you i'll just pray for all of you in general there's a lot for us to do in the name of jesus you don't have to kneel by the power that raised christ from the dead there's one of you the mighty power of god is coming on you now one of you in front here and the lord is telling me after that encounter then i pray for all of you in the name of jesus christ may your life never be the same i release you the miracles and the blessings allotted for your various families in the name of jesus step into it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. The Lord is showing me a woman. We'll be praying for the sick shortly. 
but the Lord is showing me a woman one two three four five years exactly five years you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that your story is about to change please come quickly let's save time hmm. please don't come out at random there's order in the house of God make sure that you understand what we're saying my friend look at me what happened to you who is with the mic please teach the people what to do so that hold on madam look at me this woman shout Jesus out of her now in the name of Jesus what happened to you my friend you are from Anambra here yes sir. how long last year June second last year. What happened to your leg? I had a stutter. Is it a fracture? That's what I'm asking. No, not the fracture. I have a, a stroke after the last day. I had a stroke. Do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. This is witchcraft. Lift the rod. Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your. Lift it up. Walk. 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 Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. I rebuke that stroke. Are you celebrating Jesus here? Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Now, these women here, please place your hand. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Listen. This is not just the display of the anointing on a man. This is Jesus Christ visiting a territory to glorify his son. Are we together? Now, I'm standing, God bless you, sir. This healing, this, because I'm looking at you. It was not just an accident. In the vision, I'm seeing you lying down on a bed. Completely half of you has gone paralyzed. This is what the devil wanted to bring. But God has brought your deliverance now. God bless you, sir. Now, I want to pray for all of you. Please look at me. I don't care what the medical report is. You see, every challenge is at the mercy of the kind of grace that confronts it. Challenges are not generic. They depend on what grace confronts it. I decree and declare, most of you, this demonic thing called delay is witchcraft. By the power that raised Christ from the dead right now, I release you now. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Help them. I lose you now. Now be loose now. Be loose now in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the time of life, I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, return with your miracle children. Let there be a correction of everything that is wrong biologically. A correction right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It is over in the name of Jesus that nine months from now you will return with miracle children to the glory of the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is revealing something to me that I need to pray for you can go back to your seat for this ones I want to pray for you and I want you to bring those people out there is a spirit that is at work in families where it is the women that take care of the men no matter how responsible no matter how supposedly productive something seems to happen that bring the men down the power of God is resting I'm seeing at least eight people right now bring them out I decree and declare in the name that is above all names by that the power that raised Christ from the dead I cause that spirit now. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not saying come out at random. Listen, understand what happens when I mention a case like this. The very power of God will locate you. And then if I do ask to come out, you bring them out so that we don't make this place rowdy. That's all right. Just leave them since they are already out. Madam, look at me. This woman, stand up. What's your name? Huh? I want to pray for you. 
you believe in the power of the holy spirit the lord is setting you free from everything that represents witchcraft i stretch my hands towards you this out of her now the name of jesus help her please help her just hold her so we don't just just hold and keep her in one place i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ now the lord is showing me people here whose families have been stagnated in one position you love jesus you are sincere people some of you are even ministers of the gospel there is somebody who is bearing the same name with dr cosmos your name too is cosmos come come out i just saw that in a vision that your name just like this man please make sure you don't tell lies if there is that person here let me see that person i want to pray with you the lord just ministered to me that there is someone that has that name and if it happens to be your loved one also i don't know how we're going to do it now but i need to pray and respond very quickly your name is also cosmos god wants to pray for you and then i'm hearing who is vivian vivian i'm hearing the name vivian i want to pray a general prayer but there are three people who will shout right now under the anointing the lord is taking away the spirit of death from their family right now this is this is what i saw in my vision please help them bring them out bring them out the spirit of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Everyone here as an individual or as a family under the siege of death patterns of death every year every two two years someone must die by the power of in the name of jesus i set those altars on fire now on fire now Who is Vivienne? All of you? Who is from Imo State? Imo State. Where are you from? Imo State. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you, but I want to pray for you. Because where are your loved ones? Your family members? I want to pray for you. So that somebody, I'm seeing somebody from Imo. To Port Harcourt, having a ghastly motor accident, a car turning over, and they are saying survived by. But who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. That that demonic thing that the devil is scheming by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare your complete deliverance. And for all of you who have come out by the spirit my friend what do you do huh i'm a public servant i also have a car shop look at me go and register a company there is a strange grace for wealth that god is going to bring on you hear what i'm telling you look at me do you believe in the prophetic yes sir. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands receive that grace right now I launch you, I release you into that dimension of grace, even by the Spirit of God. And for all of you who are standing here, I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of the Holy Spirit 
rest upon you and open up new chapters of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ receive that grace right now hallelujah please return back to your seat now hear me I'm going to pray a very strange prayer now and when you pick those people I want them in front here there are people I'm seeing an eagle there are people called into a strange order of the prophetic the end time prophetic ministry some of you may not even know I'm about to pray that grace and that mantle is about to rest upon you please help them help them so they don't do careless things please Oh, my friend, what is your name? What do you do? I'm a student. Come and stand here. I want to pray for you. There is a very strange grace that you will carry. But look at me. Be careful with association, right? Love people who are believers and be very serious. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Even as God has helped your father, may God help you and lift you to become a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring those people here. I decree and declare right now, everyone anointed to be in the prophetic, I decree and declare, may that mantle wherever you are, from the front to the back, from my left to my right, young and old, step into that anointing now. Step into that anointing now. Step into that anointing now. The eyes that see, the ears that hear, I ignite your spirit, man. Hear the sights and the sounds of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. A new season. A new season. A new season for your Christian experience a new season for your prophetic encounters the Lord will raise you mighty men over an umbra mighty men like the men of David men of fire in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me please look up please everyone let me have your attention I want to tell you something very prophetic right now there are three groups of people God is raising over Anambra State in this season. Write it down and listen carefully. Number one, there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors. Hear me, as I'm mentioning it, that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension. Prophetic intercessors, there will be women of fire, women who understand the art of the altar. Hear me many women intercessory groups will arise by the spirit women who will pray revival men will be affected but there will be many women daughters of zion i ignite your spirit man i connect you with the mantle of the intercessor Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. That is number one. The mantle of the intercessor is resting upon Anambra. Men and women. You will see people who understand how to pray. Strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of God to bear some of you may be weak but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration intense consecration no more distraction intense consecration the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and he says to run with perseverance the race set before us may you endure the consecration of an intercessor may you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of god 
like Anna the prophetess, like Simeon the prophet. Number two, the second group of people that God is raising, hear me please, in a very strange way, there are two unique ministries that God is, um, I would not say bringing it for the first time, but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra State. Number one is the ministry of evangelism. Number two is the ministry of the teacher. These two ministries, this is what God revealed to me. He's restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power. Most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment. But there are people anointed. Oh God, pack the crusade grounds again. Oh God, pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land. Where are the revivalists? May that man to rest upon you. May that man to rest upon you. Rest upon your campuses. Rest upon the entire local government that make up an Anambra state. Strange evangelism with power, with signs and with wonders. Hear me? I'm not announcing this so that you will just sweep it under the carpet. It's what the Spirit of God wants to do. I had a little nap this afternoon. Please look up. I had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session and I saw a very strange vision. This is what I saw. I saw like a river and then I saw a strange spirit just came out of the river. It's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time. And it made people to practice certain things. And maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away. But I saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again. And the Lord told me that I should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining cult groups and associations because of wealth. That there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what I saw father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ I prophesy to the length and the breadth of an umbra state we speak lift up your heads oh ye gates ancient doors for the king of glory is making a triumphant entry over a number of states. therefore we prophesy Maranatha come Lord Jesus over the land of a number of states. Maranatha upon the campuses Maranatha upon the churches in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace. I repeat, the teaching grace. Hear me. The only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine. If believers do not have a platform, regardless the church, where the precepts of the kingdom are methodically communicated there will be bankruptcy of growth within that territory according to jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors that are according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge therefore i'm praying right now some of you are men of god some of you may seem like ordinary individuals 
Lord, where are those who you will open their eyes to the spirit of revelation? Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. The grace of a teacher. Some of you are heading fellowship groups. Some of you are pastors already. You have struggled with communicating doctrine. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding. A new dimension of spiritual understanding. Churches, youth groups, apostolic and prophetic platforms, prayer groups, step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen very carefully. I want to give you the third I told you the first kind of people that God is raising are prophetic intercessors. The second, they are ministers, but two ministries particularly, the evangelistic and the revelatory grace. Number three, in a very strange way, God is raising end time financial apostles. That was why God brought Dr. Cosmas. Many of you may, that's why I told you that what he was doing was not an interruption to the program. When I sat there, I said, this man is truly a spiritual man. He was not just shaking you. It was an extension of something the Bible calls the hand of fellowship. There are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling. You are brought into it by those who carry the grace. Now I want to pray for you. There are many men and women here. You came for this meeting. Listen, listen. When we talk about the issue of finances, I can assure you on time that many people have disappointed God. It's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say, Lord, empower me. Do you know what it means to be a billionaire and yet still love the Lord? When I saw the man of God rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing, I said, how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before Jesus? When David began to dance at the return of the ark, Saul's daughter looked at him and said, Why are you dancing undignifiably? You are bringing shame to your status. His reply, I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me. God had that query and she died a barren woman. Hear me? God is not looking for materialistic people. God is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and earn respect. No. God is looking for men and women who he will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time. Men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust. I want to release that grace. And by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he said believe in the Lord your God hear me Anambra State is arguably the business hub of this nation so you are not naive and ignorant when it has to do with the principles that make for wealth and abundance Many of you here were raised ethically and culturally to understand money and finances. I'm not here to downplay your pedigree, but hear me. There is a dimension of wealth that comes through providing values and services. But there is a dimension of wealth that comes through the power of the prophetic. It's an advantage to believers. I want to release something upon someone now. I'm standing in partnership with Dr. Cosmas on that grace the grace that had, that lifted him 
and brought him to this position lord there is someone in this auditorium that you are you have anointed there has to be a man and a woman someone you will be using as a financial apostle to fund your end time project spirit of the living god where are these individuals i decree and declare from the front to the back from my left to my right may that mantle that came upon joseph and distinguish him economically may that mantle that came upon solomon i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now the grace to lay up gold as dust and yet your heart still connected to the things of god may that grace rest upon you now hear me some of you by reason of what has come upon you tonight there are people you were not supposed to meet but god will direct your steps and that one connection will open you up to a world of finances may it be so for you in the name of jesus now hear me everyone under the sound of my voice before we get to the next thing to do open your mouth in one minute and prophesy that i am advancing everything that has tied me down at the same level ministerially i decree and declare here at this conference this apostolic invasion over an Ambra state declare your exodus i move forward in ministry i go forward i break boundaries in the name of jesus is someone praying Someone is praying. Why is Sikesi the living among the dead? God is lifting you. God is lifting you from that level. They will search for you where you were yesterday and not find you there again, spiritually. Hallelujah. 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 What do you do, this man? Yes. Are you a pastor? Come. Your life is about to change. You are a pastor in Anambra here? Yes, sir. You, you, you pastor a church? Yes, sir. Your own church that God has given you? Or you're a resident pastor. Oh, you're a resident pastor. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I've not prayed that grace yet, but I will start with you. There is a strange grace for signs and wonders that you are about to move into. It will be such a phenomenal display of the power of god i stretch my hands towards you in the name of jesus you will drink of that wine the lord will turn you to become like another man in the name of jesus christ supernatural display of signs and wonders receive that grace now now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same this is by the spirit of grace hallelujah i don't know who but i'm hearing before we pray for the sick i'm hearing that there is someone here the lord wants me to minister to is it your father or so you lost that person january january who is that 
because I'm seeing another death occurring next month and the Lord is saying to cancel it. Who is that person? Please run quickly. Who is that? Your father died. Yes, sir. January. Yes, sir. Where are you from? Obosi. I want to pray Anambra for State. you. Where is this? An this Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will die until the day is gone. There's not a friend. In the name of Jesus Christ, that plague of death you don't have to kneel by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that sponsors the manifestation of the spirit of death here in this conference we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this woman I'm seeing an anointing come on her this one who is kneeling right now I'm seeing an angel pour oil on this woman on her knees in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's opening a door that has been closed over your life I release that grace right now. May that door be open now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name that is above all names, everything that wants oppression to arise the second time over these families, we cancel it now in Jesus' name. We cancel it now in Jesus' name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. Is there a name like Chide Berem? Is, does it make sense? Is there something like that? Chide, who is that? I just had Chide Berem. It's like you're a woman. I don't know if it's male or female now. Who is that? Please make sure you are not telling lies. Well, can somebody verify that they are telling? It ends with an M. -O. Is M. Does it make sense? If I'm making a mistake, forgive me. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Chide Berem. Huh? I want to pray for you. Because for one of you here, the month of July will be a strange month for your family. Very strange month. God is going to open doors in a way that will surprise you father i pray for these people i don't know who that person is but i stretch my hands right now please don't be offended i'm not a prophet of doom but there is somebody god is asking me i have to pray for you now you were supposed to inherit and i don't mean with all due respect to every culture represented here but I'm seeing somebody, it's like there is a shrine. You are supposed to inherit it. I don't know if it's from your father or something. You, they told you, you are the person. Who is that? You are the one? I have to pray for you. This thing has destroyed this man's life. I must pray for you. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Someone right now is being healed of fibroid. I'm, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but i just saw it as i sang this song the second time you will feel movement physically right now as i'm speaking in your stomach you will know that something is leaving you hmm. 
father in the name of jesus my sister look at me this lady tap her for me shout jesus as loud as you can i decree and declare can i tell you there is nobody who should be forced to worship any shrine or whatever it is even jesus christ knocks at the door of your heart and waits for you to be open nobody should budge into your destiny using whatever guys i use you as a point of contact every evil that this plague is bringing to you to make sure that you have to go and bow to whatever demonic practices in the name of jesus christ i declare you free now i declare you free now may the light of the glorious gospel penetrate to all who are concerned and let there be liberty from the practice of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you all return to your seats in the name of jesus now i want to pray for the sick you are trusting god you came here trusting god for a miracle in your body i want you to lay your hands right there i believe in the power of the holy spirit jesus is able to heal can i tell you when i saw again i would use him dr cosmas jumping here jumping like a little boy some of you who are younger than his last child may not be able to jump up i saw our father bishop onugogo jumping and literally jogging to come up here this is 83 going 84 there is a grace not only for longevity but for health i want to pray that grace upon you now please listen carefully there are people here you have struggled with sickness and infirmity one of the ministries that must be restored before jesus returns is the healing ministry there is never a testimony of genuine revival without a manifestation of the healing power of jesus can i tell you why the healing ministry is important i will tell you everyone is given the privilege of having one body per lifetime you are only entitled to one body per lifetime no 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 don't bring them out until i ask you to please take them back now this woman i'm seeing is that cancer who brought her is that cancer what is it What's, who brought her? Somebody should give us. Huh? She came herself? I brought her. My elder sister. What happened? She had a heart condition from childhood around my three from my four. A heart issues over, over through the years. Around 2009, she was flown to the US where she, they performed the heart surgery on her. She came back. It continued up till now. Then before you knew it, I think it affected some of her organs. Her belly started inflammating like... A lot of things that's how she, she just became complicated like this sir. we are trusting we are planning to attend last miracle service but we couldn't attend it even this sunday we are planning to to attend koinoni abuja this sunday this coming sunday and all of a sudden from niger state where i'm serving i just rushed home i took night bus came back this this morning and then we are at the hospital they just told us you are here no plans we didn't know you are coming to work and that is how we that is how we just came here this evening sir Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. Now, look at this. Look at this beautiful lady, a young lady like this, plagued with all kinds of demonic things, not given an opportunity to live a meaningful life. This is how you carry her around huh this is how you carry her around yes sir yes. she's your elder sister my direct elder sister even my brother is here the first person we should celebrate is you not even her for having that heart and that love for her i'm going to be praying for the sick shortly now please hear me you don't have to walk away with any infirmity you came here with tonight it's unnecessary you see let me tell you this before you believe a man find out about him jesus left us his scripture 
the word of God so that we can go through it and then we'll leave. I didn't come alone. I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. And Ambra, hear me. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. Tis only that you look and leave. Look and leave, my brother. Leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. Tis only that you look and leave. Place your hand right there where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch. Now two things will happen here right now. Two things, we're working with time so that we don't keep you unnecessarily long. Watch this. I am going to pray for you right now. Some of you, even whilst you were under the anointing, all kinds of miracles have happened to you. I'm going to be praying for you right now and releasing the healing power of Jesus. Please, may I request maybe one or two pastors to come stand here with the mic? Because as soon as I pray for you, the moment the power of God touches you and you see that you are healed, I am going to request that you check yourself and you run and come and stand here. Some of you already, the power of God has touched you. We will take a few testimonies here and then the next thing we'll get into is praying over the request. So make sure while you are standing, if you are yet to write your request, everyone, or if you are yet to contact your loved ones to send in their request, you still have a minute or two to do that. And then the final prayer and impartation, and then I will be done. Hallelujah. Now please listen, no distraction. I want to pray for the sick. I have been sick myself. I know what it means to be oppressed of the enemy. But then I know what it means also to experience the victory and the triumph that comes in and through Christ. Lay your hands please, everyone. If you came with a sick person here, here is your moment to lay your hands on those people. Take your eyes away from the sickness and look up to Jesus. And as I pray, I'd like you to open up your spirit and shout a believing amen. And believe that that which plagues you will give way right now. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Just hold the person there. I'm about to pray. I'm seeing them trying to bring somebody out. No, please. Don't, don't stress anyone. Ushers or protocol, guide them. Just keep the people somewhere there. I will pray for them. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. There will be a loud shout by a lady right now. Immediately after that shout, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. I don't know why the Holy Spirit does this thing sometimes. It's a ministry of signs and wonders. A loud shout to the hearing of everybody. The power of God will come upon a lady. Now I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, something is happening here. In the name of Jesus Christ, help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out, healing is happening right now. Help them, my God. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit at the back of 
of any infirmity I come in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and I decree and declare be lifted from the lives of these people now and I declare over your body be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you life and healing right now help them please I rebuke every devil of infirmity cancer be healed in Jesus name fibroid be healed in Jesus name migraine God is healing migraines be healed in Jesus name now there is someone I don't know if you have a problem with your mind madness or some kind of um, psychosomatic issue the power of God is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus heart conditions be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone your right eye severe pain you cannot see well I command that eyes to be open now every blind eyes here represented be open in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open in the name of Jesus anyone having any bone condition or any issue that is affecting your mobility be healed now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone I don't know if it's boils like an allergy something you have in your skin very terrible condition the power of God is touching you right now are you shouting a believing amen I'm seeing a lady the right side of your breast you have a lump I command that lump to disappear now the Lord is healing hepatitis hepatitis B be healed right now in the name of Jesus there is a condition called gastritis in the name of Jesus I declare healing for such a person there's someone you can walk but you are having severe difficulty because around your lumbar area here there is severe pain this man is a man of God the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ particularly I'm seeing someone the left side of your ear you couldn't hear very well right now I command that ear to pop open now I'm seeing someone with pains around your kneecap your kneecap particularly please help those under the anointing there in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now there is a gentleman you are not able to lift your hands up to this level I think I don't know what is the problem lift it up right now I bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing in the name of Jesus there is someone I don't know what happened to you but it's like you don't smell completely nothing exactly is wrong with your nose but it's like your sense of smell there's something wrong with it the power of God is resting upon you right now and God is bringing restoration now whether I mention your case or not be healed in the name of Jesus I'm seeing I'm seeing someone you, you have a loved one who has kidney issues you have a loved one who has a kidney issue right now the power of God is touching that person and if there are those connecting in hospitals across this nation and across the globe I bring you the life and the power of Jesus right now be healed in the name of Jesus whether you are following life or you are watching a rebroadcast by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed in Jesus name waste pain severe pain 
around the waist area is being healed right now now even though i have prayed for pregnant women but the lord is showing me a woman something happens to you every time you take in you go to bed and you have a very strange dream and the next thing you begin to bleed and that's the end of that pregnancy the power of god right now as i'm speaking is resting upon you an end comes to that oppression heart palpitations be healed in the name of jesus hiv be healed in the name of jesus every kind of recurring sickness be healed in the name of jesus blood disease blood disease be healed in the name of jesus if there is anyone here who is a sickler i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit we change your genotype now in the name of jesus christ now hear me this is what i want you to do my goodness there are so many miracles i already see now i want you to check yourself this moment the moment you find out that something has happened to you i want you to run either to the front here those who are standing wave your hands so they will see you begin to come out right now miracles are happening an umbra state are you celebrating jesus creator of the universe what can you do celebrate jesus what can you do jesus creator of sake creator of the universe what can you do what can you do keep coming keep coming celebrate what jesus is doing here you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. coming Jesus look what God is doing hallelujah Sir. now hear me I'm going to pray I'm going to pray for the request shortly so ushers please begin to go around if you are yet to submit your request I want you to wave it up let the usher see now pass it to the person anybody by your left and right to make it easy for the ushers nobody will read your request please worship team when we take a few testimonies here I want one of you prepare and come and give us one hot Igbo song here. One, one song that will announce to principalities and powers that there is a visitation. Make sure you know what you come and sing here. Are we together now? Hallelujah. Amen. I see people still submitting that. I think we should do it now. Two minutes. One hot Igbo song. Who is, who is handling it? Please help them, help them. Let's save time. Anambra said, Keep coming. for one minute while you submit your prayer request yes please yes sir. listen very carefully to the following testimonies yes please sir she said 
from a tender age once been, once you bring them just turn them so we can from okay a, from a tender age she has been having severe migraine severe migraine from a tender from age. a tender age but as soon as you pray what happened to you now my dear um, throughout today i've been having help us with the mic yes throughout today i've been having this aura of headache i've been having migraine since the past three days and right now, now i am okay perfect in the fine. name of jesus christ perfection for you in jesus name next person very quickly praise god i've been jogging but after a while i developed knee pain but while you mentioned the knee so completely I... jump now jump any pain any pain are you celebrating miracles now when when the people come just turn them so the congregation can see who is talking yes let's have somebody there go ahead very quickly pastor yes Straight to the point, anyone who is ready, let's save time. Okay, my name is Kindness. I have this eye problem. I've been using glasses for the five years now. Eye problem? Yes. For how long? Five years. And right now? Yes, I've got to my email. Oh, come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I have to get my green since I was in primary four. Because of that, I'm on low court. Oh, you're on low court? Yes because of it yes. and what happened now oh completely give Jesus praise for the mighty things that he's doing yes please go ahead yes, the Lord. I had a stroke last year March you had a stroke last year March yes and since then I've been undergoing physiotherapy yes and in recent time we have been working on this my left hand because the paralysis is on the left side the paralysis is on the left hand Yes. So as we were ministering, I fell under the anointing. And now I can leave the hand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Put it down, madam. Lift it up again. Put it down. Lift it up. Oh, come on and unbrass it. Are you giving Jesus praise? We rebuke that devil of stroke. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Man of God. Yes, please. Quickly. Praise the Lord. This young man has been having severe Just, knee pains for over one year severe knee pain on both knees and but right now it's totally gone check yourself totally gone completely gone in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please sir the lady said when you prayed for fibroids she felt a move in her stomach and she has been having how long have you had the fibroid for four years now for four years go to the hospital and check yourself we declare perfection for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He also, prayed, he yes, also please. had waist pain for three years and is also totally gone. Waist pain gone completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, um, I had breast lump. What's your name, my dear? My name is Faith. Is okay. I had breast lump and my I God, are you seeing twice. so many miracles? For a man of God here, beginning from tonight, the next time you climb your altar in the name that is above all names, the fire that you have seen from this conference, may you take that fire back to your assembly. May you take Abaka de Baratosia. Everything you have seen here, the grace to reproduce it, let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. She says she has been operated on the, her breast twice. Oh, they've operated your breast. Talk yes, to us. I've had breast lump. First, they operated, it grew back. Second, they operated, it grew back. And then I know Oh, you had a lump. They operated it and it grew back. What happened right now? I reset it grew back recently. I was already planning on going to surgery and stuff, but I and can't what correctly find anyone now. <laughs> Yes, please. Um, this young man. Praise the living God. 2005, I had a uh, joint dislocation on my right hip joint. Yes. And when you were praying about um, joint problem, waist problem, and bones problem, I felt a great relief. Even this morning, I took medicine while coming down. What couldn't you do? I couldn't run. I couldn't my friend, run. Let the devil see you. Give Jesus praise. Are you celebrating Jesus? That is how you will run to your blessings. That is how you will run to your destiny. And every power that has limited you in the name of Jesus, it must give way tonight. Shout a loud hallelujah. 
Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Daniel. I'm an evangelist. I used to have scratch in my body. The thing used to disturb me, even if I go out to preach God. You used to have I what? Would, I used to have scratch in my body. The okay. thing will be scratching me. If I take from that, if you take my skin, all of it, it has bleached me. If I take what happened to you now? Now, I felt so hot when you were singing, and the pain has left me. I'm not feeling scratched. Completely. Yes. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? Yes. She has blood vision from childhood blood vision you couldn't see what's your name i used to have blood vision i don't used to see if i have this long side long okay side but immediately after prayer i removed what couldn't you see clearly i don't used to see far I okay used to wear glasses so that yes. I pick up things that are far. right now but immediately after prayer i removed my glasses and everything. you removed your glasses yes, and you could see now yes, in the name of jesus that demonic thing would never return to you again. Yes, sir. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I used to have pain on my leg. Sometimes I wear bandages, many drugs. After everything, I'll still be having leg pains. But when the man of God was praying, my leg felt very heavy. And now I'm very free. Completely. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. He couldn't stand. Like oh, that boy that you were trying to bring out here. Oh my God, look at the boy could not walk. The boy could not walk. Some of you saw him there. Look at this. What happened to him? Hold on. What happened to him? In December, he saw Please hold on. Can you help us amplify that, that mic less? In December, when yes. we were writing the exam, he suddenly started uh, dragging his left feet. Yes. And we noticed that the left arm was now like this. So we went to the hospital and he was diagnosed of brain tumor. He was diagnosed of a brain tumor. So he couldn't walk. Yes. What's his name? Suriel. 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 Can he Zuriel. hear me? Suriel. Look at me. Come. Walk. Walk. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at. Listen. You see. Hold on. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Look at a little boy like this. If the devil can oppress a little boy like this, there is no limit to what he can do if allowed. Stretch your hands, everybody, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ over this, our dear son. And let's declare perfection. We have just about five minutes or so. Very quickly, stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oppression will not arise the second time. You have brought perfection to this boy. It remains so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Uh, praise God. Um, over the years, I had serious waist pain. It's a congenital issue. So I've gone for a series of tests. I live on drug because yes. of it. So if I drive too much, I'm in serious pain. I entered there with the pain. When you mentioned the case, I was bending down to look for it. I couldn't find it again. Completely bend down. Any pain, bend down. Any pain. Anambra, are you celebrating Jesus? I want to hear my mass testimony. Yes, please. So my, my problem is in my stomach and on my nose. I, let me free, uh, take the one of the stomach. There was a time I was having too much problem. They say, I went to a teaching hospital and they say it is a prolapse that my womb is dropping, that I will do operation. So I didn't do the operation. I started praying, you know, and the thing subsided. But this week, the thing came and Saturday they were giving me the same tons it was giving me. Yesterday, I couldn't. In short, my stomach is relaxed. And what happened now, I Mama? Free. Completely free. Then the one in the nose, March, March last year, 2021, my nose my, started swelling. It, it, it will swell and we diminish. We swell and we will be burning me so much. Before I came to this program, it, it was doing the thing, but now, hey, I am free. In the name of Jesus, look at Mama jumping and celebrating. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for delivering me from brain disorder I had for seven years. Brain disorder. I, I have been on psychiatric drugs. Look at this. My parents are even planning to. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Listen, listen. Young lady. Brain disorder. 
For how long? For seven years. You went to the hospital? Yes. Verified? Yes. I have done scan and x-ray, nothing. They didn't see anything. I continue to be on psychiatric drugs. But to no avail. But tonight, I... What's that song you sing? Turaya Kamarama. Come on, you have to dance here. Somebody, if you want to help me. the kind of songs I want you people to bring though I shouldn't be the one teaching you your songs you still owe me one song hold on worship team advise yourselves you still owe one song here yes sir I'm a witness to this we stay she's my neighbor twin duplex we hear her every night screaming saying sometimes she could be talking all through the night oh my god so my wife my dear Say everything I ask you to say. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my savior. I have no business with madness. I, I have no business oh, with madness. Oh, come on. Come on, Anambra. Thank you, Jesus. I have no business with madness. They are gone forever in Jesus' name. Let me prophesy to someone. This Egyptian that you see, in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. Let's say two or three more. I want to hear the testimonies of these mothers. Yes, please, very quickly. For a week, he has been having severe chest pain. Severe chest pain. Such that he could not shout. And right now. But right now, he has been shouting. Shout hallelujah. And no pain. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pain gone forever. Pain gone forever. Yes, please. Um, I went to the hospital um, yesterday to see the doctor for ENT of my truth yes i've been having so much discomfort especially when i'm praying each time i'm praying i have severe pains so at the request he was, here please bring them bring them the doctor, if you're yet to submit your request please wave it so that someone can pick it very quickly yes ushers help us any other person please i wasn't able to see the doctor yesterday so i heard you are coming i said i will come here so i took the money that i will use for the hospital to transport myself here you came yes. from where madam from um, Amobia. I'm, I'm a Catholic, but I, I follow you on Facebook. Yes. So I, I took the money, I came here. I was praying to God for the replacement. In the morning, when I came here in the morning, I was begging God that tomorrow that I will go to the hospital, that I need the replacement. What happened to you in, now? Immediately I got home, I got transferred for people owing me. So I came this evening. My throat that was paining me, severe pains, after prayers, my voice be crack, I cannot talk. But I feel I felt it. No pains. I'm talking so clear and so loud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Sir, for over seven months, somebody has been owing him a hundred thousand naira. Someone has been owing you. He has been for how long? Seven months. Right here. What yeah. happened? Right here. The alert he came. sent you your money. Look at this, look at this, and I will restore unto you the years that the counter worm has eaten. Let me prophesy over someone, everything that left you, that should not have left you, by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life now. Let's have two more. Sadly, we cannot take all of them, but here's what I want you to do for me. In tomorrow's session, you can, you can testify. The most important thing is that Jesus came and he visited his people. Hallelujah. Let's have one or two more, very quickly. I had, praise God, I had pneumonia last year, last year, but it was not treated Come properly. Come again. Pneumonia. Last pneumonia. Year. Last year, it wasn't treated properly. But today, I was believing God for my husband. I was even praying for myself. But throughout, whenever I get to a cold environment like this, my, uh, I'll be having pain in my lungs and then my shoulder blade, I can't take a deep breath, it's yes. depending me. I'll be holding my chest, but after the prayers, I just remembered I had the pain and checked. Everything Check it has now. Gone. It has Check gone. it. Check it. Any pain. Everything has Check gone. your hands. 
no pain hallelujah and may the lord perfect your husband since you stood in for him in the name of jesus yes please hallelujah i was determined that today that i am not going to go home the same way i came it says 43 years was broken at this come again i sickle didn't hear self, that self for 43 Help her. she's years. under the anointing what's the issue you mentioned sickle cell for, oh, sickle cell for 43 years. 43 years in the name the My, power of God is still on her. Yes. Um, um, I have this when you mentioned left side lumps. I have it. I've operated it once and it's grown back again. And even when I touched my breast, I feel pain. But right now I can't. I can't. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's have one or two from this very quickly. Yes. I had a in my right hand. You had a lump too? Yes. Right it's now. Exactly it disappeared. Yeah. Oh, come on, an umbra. Mighty God. She, she had a, 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 a tooth pain that affected uh, the left side of her brain. Yes. That she kept on feeling so much pain that she cannot lie down with one side of her head. She always lie down with this. But when you made the declaration, she just noticed that her hair was just free and there's no pain all around completely, her completely she's gone. free forever Amen. now let me hear yes please very quickly yes she, uh, he cannot look at the lights this is his glasses who now, the gentleman the man, yes. how old is he how old are you? 12 years 12 years what happened to him now he can look at the light like he oh he couldn't like look at the light yes sir can you see me yes sir how many fingers four two one five come on now God, I broke my arms as at three years old, and each time it do reoccur that I will feel this pain in this arm that I can't even raise it up or raise it down or do anything with it. As at two weeks ago, the thing reoccurred again, and after the prayers, I can now wave as at this afternoon. I can't wave this hand like this. Wave it now. Wave it. Let the devil see you waving it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, for all of you who are left, sadly we may not be able to take the testimonies, but to God be the glory. Marvelous things is done in Anambra. In the name of Jesus, those who are here and those who couldn't make it to testify, and all who have been healed and delivered following online, in the name of Jesus, your healing miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Please everyone rise and stretch your hands towards the altar. We are praying right now. In one minute, I want you to begin to pray. Father, this is the moment where you visit me. This is your prayer request. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Go ahead and pray. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us. We are praying now. Philippians chapter 4. Please help this gentleman and ushers. Just bring this request. Any protocol, come up and pick the request so that you drop them properly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your requests be made known. Don't assume that God knows it. Let your requests be made known. Everyone here, you wrote this by yourself. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Go ahead and pray as I bow my knees to pray over your request. Someone is praying. We just have two or three minutes for this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God One more time you
stretch your hands in one minute and begin to declare father the only thing that i will carry from here is answers to prayer i will never have to write this again go ahead and pray someone is praying decree and declare that every request written here will never have to be written as a request again shout a believing amen hear me anybody who says over his dead body for God to visit you like this the earth will open and swallow them Every human vessel who must come into partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for the answers in this request, I compel their ministry over your life. And hear me, prophetically, I stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under the feet of Christ. In the name of Jesus, now hear me very quick. I didn't tell him, but the Lord has put it in my heart. I am going to request our father, Bishop Onubogo. He's going to come and stand here in his capacity as a priest and one who 84 years never visited a hospital. Never been admitted in a hospital. He's going to speak to us, his children, Everywhere around the East, God has granted me the privilege. I cannot begin to tell you about this awesome man of God alongside a number of ministers here that everywhere God sends me provided is around the Southeast. They will inconvenience themselves and make sure they are there. This is why he came at 84. There is a grace that this man carries that somebody's destiny is about to receive now please hear me as he come whether he speaks in Igbo he speaks in tongues let your heart be open believers are usually um I think it was it was it was Reverend Obi that said that there, there is need no it's Dr. Cosmas there is need for sensitivity people carry graces but hear me as I prepare to ask daddy to come there is no need cajoling you apostle i need jesus i need him now i need him fast there are people who are here you know by the spirit that god has been beckoning on you there is another category you are saying apostle i remember giving my heart to jesus but as it is right now my life has gone haywire I need restoration these two groups of people I'm going to count one to three run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand in front of me here are you ready I begin my counting one are you celebrating salvation run to Jesus 
I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. Keep coming to Jesus. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. Come. Quickly. Win that war finally in your destiny. Don't say I'm ashamed or don't say there are too many people. That you know today that if the trumpet sounds, it is not heaven you are going to. Make your way to Jesus. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done I appreciate every one of you if you are still joining them join quickly and those of you who are watching by television or watching by way of internet here is your opportunity from Nigeria from America from Europe Africa here is an opportunity for you to know and to meet Jesus right from Anambra states to the nations of the earth we bring you Jesus the life of God we bring you Jesus the son of the living God I salute and congratulate all of you here some of you are making this decision for the first time others are rededicating your life to Jesus the Bible declares that whosoever comes to him that he will in no wise cast away can I tell you true revival starts with genuine repentance and conversion when people are not converted it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face turning from their wicked ways that i will hear from heaven and i will heal their prayers and heal their land lift your right hand all of you who are in front i want you to say this loud and clear you are not reciting a poem jesus is here say after me lord jesus one more time shout it say lord jesus tonight i believe in you i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am a child of God I am saved washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I am a child of God is someone preparing bishop so that bishop will come and make the decrees even if it's just in a minute he's going to declare that fatherly blessing now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven say amen, amen. i call you by the authority of scripture recipients of eternal life amen. And in the name that is above all names, everything that is not of God, I command it to give way right now. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen and amen. Welcome to a new life. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, just an information for you. Okay, please listen carefully. You've just done the first step. Second step. Friday. 5 p.m. Let me explain salvation to you. It will help you. Many of you who went back, it's not because you are not good. It's just because you didn't know the right things. 
So 5 p.m. Friday at Garden of Grace Church. That's step number two. If you are serious, you'll be there. Garden of Grace Church is at Regina Shelley. The same boundary with everyday supermarkets. Just stop Regina Shelley, walk up to everyday supermarket. It's the same wall that separates it. There's a mango tree there. Come there. I will explain things that will make you stay with Christ the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Did you hear? So, just what you will do now, maybe after the prayers, just go here. Okay. Go here, then drop your information. Make sure you drop Okay, the very quickly, here's what. May I plead that we also bring up uh, the PFN chairman? Okay, it was in my spirit to also have him speak these are fathers over the land and you are about to receive something that will open a new gate in your life we have about two three minutes maximize it now for all of you here this is what i want you to do please i want you to feel this legibly as feel it as truthful as you can who do they give it to yes ushers now the ushers. moment you are done feeling it so make sure you pick up one the moment you have one sleep please go back to your seat rejoicing and then um when you feel the sleep don't go with it please just wave it and hand it over to an usher and then friday friday by 5 p.m, 5 PM at garden of grace church. at garden of grace church Every and then you take it from there let's celebrate Every them as they go now please rise up on your feet hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching